Mm. There are a lot of studies that show that certain types of foods and diets are really have a big impact on cancer, can reduce your chance of cancer by many fold. Uh, and that's not the only reason you would potentially live longer on these diets, but it's certainly a, an important one, especially considering about a third of women in their 40s already have some type of breast cancer. Um, it may not kill them, but if you look, it's there and you want to suppress the growth of those cancers. And by eating the right foods and leaving some out, you can actually prevent those little tiny tumors from growing. Um, and there's lots of lots of that. I mean, the, the kind of things that that you know I've been reading about are sulfur rich foods, glutathione, um, leaving out animal proteins, which stimulate the production of a molecule called IGF, IGF-1, insulin-like growth factor one. Insulin-like growth factor one is really important. I'll just pause on that. That, if you have low levels as a mouse or a human makes you live longer, it's known to stimulate cancer. And if you eat a lot of meat, you have a lot of that. Um, and what's interesting is if you're on a vegetarian diet or a vegan diet and you take the blood of those people, of, of us and you put it on cancer cells it can inhibit them dramatically by four thousand percent in terms of their growth and that's largely thought to be due to the very low levels of igf1 in the bloodstream again a molecular explanation for why these diets have been shown over centuries to be healthy